hello everyone welcome back to my channel I am makeup with class by Tina I am so thankful that my face favorite season is here and that is fall I love this beautiful fall makeup application I love the eyes the cut crease everything looks super 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 beautiful let's jump into this tutorial as you can see I've already filled my brows in off camera now i am just adding a little hydration i'm using the glow recipe niacinamide watermelon drops just to bring a little bit more hydration to the skin who does not like hydration for the fall and winter months and you guys the scent is amazing while this product is sitting we're going to move over to the eyes we're going to be working from the Too Faced gingerbread extra spicy palette aren't the shades beautiful you guys the transitional shade we are working with is for the gram we're just working it in working it in blending 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 that is your your key sis you have to blend 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 and to deepen the eyeshadow look we're going to add in a little bit warm extra spicy into that crease area and we just blended it in isn't this calling and screaming fall you guys look at these beautiful shades just look at these beautiful shades i am so in love with this eyeshadow palette now we are moving on to the favorite part of this particular eyeshadow tutorial and that is cutting the crease i am using the warm sand concealer by Too Faced and as you can see i am taking my time taking my time making sure that my lines are super super sharp and everything is looking clean and sharp To deepen up the edges at the end, I'm using Cookie Call just to blend that on in on the edge. The first shade I'm using on the inner corner is Lick the Spoon, and the second shade is Cookie Cutter. So we're just mixing those two eyelid shades together. Now we're just blending that, that on in. And now I'm using the Sephora liquid liner. I apologize, my hand was in the way, but I'm just creating a quick wing. And once I'm done with my wing liner, we're gonna move to complexion. I'm using the Elf Power Grip Primer. I love this primer. It grips, grips, grips my foundation, you guys. I am so in love. This is a dupe of the milk hydro grip primer love 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 it okay you guys i started off with the nars radiant foundation which is perfect for the fall and winter months however my skin was a little off i normally wear humane but i decided to start off with macau thinking that it would match me perfectly but it was a little dark so as i was blending it i recognized that hmm i need to mix my foundations and it's okay to do that sis you can do whatever you want it's makeup so now i am adding that humane shade my original shade which is a little bit too light because i got a tan so i'm in between humane and macau so i'm just mixing those in and pressing it in the skin so we can have a clean canvas and we want it smooth for concealer, we are going to be using the Too Faced concealers in the shade Maple for the highlight and Warm Sand for concealing. Now I'm just adding Maple under the eyes area. I'm going to apply it on the nose bridge, my forehead, on my chin and above my lip and I'm going to also add it right under that where the eyeshadow is to have a lift you guys you gonna you guys will see how this makeup look is going to come out this right here it brings so much vibes to the eye look so now i'm just adding that warm sand in between those highlighted shades Now I am moving to contour and I'm using the Sephora 
number five concealer and we just gonna warm up the skin honey we're gonna define those sheet bones And while that concealer is setting, I'm going to add a little blush. We'll be using the Rare Beauty Happy Blush. I'm so in love with this liquid blush, you guys. I love, love, love me some blush. So I'm just blending it out into that contour. And now I'm blending out the concealer. start blending out the edges before I move all the way up to the under eye part And now I'm just making sure that I don't have any creases before we prepare to set the under eyes. Now you guys, this new step I'm about to show you have really changed my makeup game. It has brought it to another level another level I'm just reapplying that blush because I lost it a little bit with the concealer to set the other eyes I will be using the MAC Studio Fix foundation in C6 and I'm just pressing that in to the skin where those highlighted areas are and once I'm done pressing that powder in I am going to add another powder can you guys guess what powder I'm going to use? Yes, the Easy Bake Huda Beauty Setting Powder in Pound Cake. Do you guys see the filter effect in this powder? No creases under, under the eyes at all. Love this product. Now I am contouring my nose bridge with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in number three and we just setting those contour areas with that same powder now we're cleaning up those contour areas and we're adding some of the Sephora fascinated blush now I'm just adding a little eyeliner and I'm using the MAC Cole brown pencil in Costa Rich and we are going to smoke it out with that shade extra spicy just to bring a little bit more depth to this eye look we're going to blend out those edges with for the ground eyeshadow that was that transitional shade that we use So now I am just pressing that powder into the skin. Now we're going to set the face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush setting spray I love this spray you guys love 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 it for lips I am using the MAC night malt lip liner to line the lips 
this lip liner is perfect for the fall season you guys I love this shade and I will be adding the Morphe nibble liquid lipstick perfect combination for this completed eyeshadow makeup application love 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 this now I'm adding a little mascara you guys oh I am so in love with this fall look it is so beautiful I love how everything came out you guys thank you guys for stopping by and joining me for another tutorial I love how everything came out I've already popped my lashes on by the way thank you thank you thank you so much for stopping by for another video God bless you guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. If you think this video was helpful, give it a big thumbs up. God bless you and have an amazing day. I will be seeing you in the next video.